let's go over what a CLABSI is and why it's important. CLABSI stands for Central Line Associated Bloodstream Infection. It's a serious but preventable infection caused by contamination of a central line. Examples of central lines are central venous catheters or CVCs, peripherally inserted central catheters or PIC lines, Mediports, and hemodialysis catheters. Because of the risk of infection, central lines should only be used when absolutely necessary and removed as soon as possible. Let's talk about some ways to prevent a clapsy. We always want to perform hand hygiene and use a septic technique. We always want to disinfect the catheter hub or scrub the hub for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry before use. And lastly, we wanna educate the patient on infection prevention. When using continuous or intermittent IV tubing, the tubing should be changed per your facility protocol. Be sure to label lines with date and time of initiation along with your initials. Some facilities use antiseptic caps that should be placed on all access points connected to the central line and even connected to the IV tubing. You wanna make sure to cover access points per your facility. A little pro tip is that these caps do not replace manually scrubbing the hub when getting ready to access these lines. All right, sterile dressing changes for central lines should be done every seven days when soiled and when the dressing becomes compromised or lifts up. A dressing with chlorhexidine is typically recommended to help prevent infection. And lastly, daily chlorhexidine baths have been shown to help prevent clapsies. That's all for clapsies. Let me know in the comments what would be a concerning assessment finding for a patient with a central line?